I feel the need to ask, what are you putting next to your well today? You know, when Jesus was on his way to go sit down at that well, he was expectant of meeting someone else who was coming to their well. Are you expecting someone to come to their well today? Not only that, what are you going to put next to your well? Is it going to be, well, it's just another day. Well, here we go again. Well, it's going to be the same thing. Or are you going to say to yourself, well, God has given me a hope and a future. Well, God has promised that he will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. And well, he is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or even think of. And when you meet that person, as you are in your pit of despair, as you are in your moment of feeling down, as you are in the moment of even feeling tired, are you, what are you going to do to help that person who is coming to their well as well? Because I feel like people get it wrong that just because we are in a pit of despair does that mean that we are mismatched in mismatched positions it means that God is growing us it means that more is on the way and so you have to remember that that in this moment right now as you are sitting weary from your journey from your trial from your tribulation from your valley walk that someone else is coming to their will. And you just might help them come to God. This just might be their one day. What are you going to put next to your will so that you can help somebody else when they come to their will? Have a blessed day.